Hey everyone, Thord and Smash here, and today we're going to be talking about how Apex is designing the meta and legend abilities in the future of the game, and what to kind of expect based on what Respawn has been testing and playing with. Along with that, we're going to give out 6,900 Apex coins because it's a funny number, why not? So just like, comment, subscribe, and you're answered for a chance to win, and we'll announce the winner of the 10,000 Apex coins as well in this video. Now let's talk about those legends. So let's just go ahead and kick this off with the next legend we can be expecting in Apex, and that's Mad Maggie. We've talked about her a little bit. As I've shown before, it's very well known in the Apex news community that Mad Maggie is built off the former data mine model character for Husaria. By now, most of you have seen her data mined abilities from way back when, which was a passive shotgun kick, a tactical flashbang, and an ultimate concussive breaching charge. And it's important to remember this was data mined when the game first came out, so there's bound to be a ton of different changes. We know, for instance, that the tactical, according to Garrett Leaks, has something to do with a throwing knife, which will track the enemy, apparently. And that was backed up by Asu saying that, yeah, the new legend has some form of wall hacks. It even looks like the passive Passive and ultimate have been changed around a little bit. Garrett Leaks theorizes that the passive has something to do with an ammo box. However, Crowl actually believes the ammo box is a survival item. Don't forget, back in season 10, another data mine legend was found in the files, codenamed Mally, and it's very possible Mally could be a further version of Husaria turning into Maggie, and they had a passive such as a damage boost and an impact effect table. So I do need to clarify for everyone that though we do know that Maggie is built off an earlier version of Husaria, that doesn't mean we know her abilities. Just for instance, let's take a early look at Blisk. When he was first data mined right around the same time as Husaria, he had a passive interrogation, where when he executed an enemy, he reveals the location of the allies for 10 seconds. That's basically Ash's passive now, except with the death box. His tactical throwing knife, where he would throw a knife that deals 20 damage and marks the target, that is now Maggie's kit. And his ultimate payday, where the squad would be awarded credits for takedowns, well, that just ended up becoming actually a gameplay mechanic with the crafting system. So all of Blisk's abilities from the time when he was data mined with Husaria were completely turn into different things. We actually have a good idea of how Blisk is being worked on right now, where he has a passive pilot kit, a tactical my ring, my rules, and an ultimate standby for Titanfall, where he would summon an auto titan to suppress the area. And for anyone out there that's saying that that Blisk leak where we saw the auto titan drop was a fake, I want to be very clear here. Now that we know that Crypto is getting a Jicto, none of Bias 12's leaks have been wrong. He's been right about everything, so I have no reason to believe that footage is wrong either. Hell, the literal director of Respawn right now said we have actually tried it before we have put titans in the game and played with them in different ways. We won't say there won't be titans at Apex, but there's nothing coming right now. So there's a 100% reason to believe that that is actually a titan being tested. As they have said, they are testing them. But Blisk is way down the line in terms of when we can actually expect him to come to the Apex game. There's actually a very good idea of what we can see next after Maggie, and that's Jericho, who actually was data mined way, way back, just like Husaria. However, he did appear in a developer video that was leaked during the Genesis collection event. And Jericho seems to have some data mined abilities that seem to focus on the defensive side of Apex Legends, which we haven't seen in a while, with a passive on your six, where your ballistic shield protects your back when you're not actively using it, a tactical ballistic shield, a full body shield that protects you from incoming fire, and an ultimate shield breaker javelin, where you throw two electrically charged javelins that burn through enemy body shields. And we can actually look at some other legends, like say, for instance, Immortal, where some of their abilities actually get turned into gameplay mechanics, such as this passive, hard to kill, where when you get down, you can revive yourself. That became the gold knockdown shield. It also has some interesting interesting ability such as a tactical shield charger where you unleash a cloud of nanites to charge your team's shields, and an ultimate rise of the phoenix where it restores your health and shields to full and gives nearby teammates 30 seconds of self revive takes 8 seconds to charge which just sounds really really broken. But what's really important about looking through that information is that though we may not see an exact duplicate of abilities from say Husaria to Maggie, we do know that Respawn doesn't really like to scrap things and we usually see it either in a gameplay mechanic later on down the line or it gets moved to a different legend. So all these abilities very likely we will see in the future. Do remember that things can always change in the development process. Nothing is set in stone until we actually see it in game or we get a trailer for it. But that in mind, what kind of abilities here do you think are interesting and would work well in Apex Legends? Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying in the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.